News 12 at 6 o'clock in high definition starts now. Thank you, Shane. Lots of you have friends or family serving in Afghanistan right now. Thousands of soldiers are stationed there, including men and women from our area. News 12's Katie Beasley spoke with one soldier from Appling who's in Afghanistan right now. There's light at the end of the tunnel for First Lieutenant Vincent Cooper. He and his troop will be coming home in a few months, but not before his mission is complete. It's been about eight months since First Lieutenant Vincent Cooper of Appling stepped foot on Afghan soil. I just kind of had a calling uh, that I felt it was something I just had to do. I just felt compelled to, to join the military. The attacks on September 11, 2001 changed everything for Lieutenant Cooper. really was an eye-opener after 9-11. You really felt, uh, at least I really felt that I, I could make a big difference in, in uh, what was going on uh, for our country. Lieutenant Cooper left his civilian job as a shift sergeant at the Columbia County Detention Center. He says it's given him some extra tools for the Army. It's kind of like working with soldiers in that you have to ensure that the soldiers are safe and secure. There's a great deal of professionalism that has to be displayed in, in both jobs. You also have a great deal of ethics that go into play, uh, whether you're a deputy sheriff or a uh, a member of the United States military. Each day, Lieutenant Cooper works directly with the Afghan people. It's provided the local national vendors an opportunity to, to be entrepreneurs, to, to have a better living, to improve the economy of the people that are local here to Bagram. You build that trust, you build that relationship, and my hope is, is that as that relationship develops, um, we'll continue to to develop a better and stronger relationship with the local folks here in Afghanistan. Lieutenant Cooper is confident with time the mission will be accomplished. I want to uh, express uh, to the folks at home that we're, we're doing the best job we can for them. Um, we take pride in what we do and um, we are looking forward to get home, but we're going to make sure we, everything gets done right before we leave. Lieutenant Cooper sat down with us by satellite. He says the hardest part is being away from his family. He says he misses his wife Lisa so much. The 359th Theater Tactical Signal Brigade is set to return home late March or early April. All right, thank you, Katie. We have an update tonight on the bicyclist involved in a hit and run over the weekend. South